Well, hello, Libras, and thank you so much for tuning in. This is your general energy reading for May 2019. All right, Libra, so we have five weeks in May, so we will be pulling cards for the 1st to the 4th, 5th through the 11th. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. 12th through the 18th, 19th through the 21st, and the 26th through the 31st. First, there we go. <clears throat> Excuse me, Libras. All right, Libras. Remember, general energy isn't going to resonate with everyone. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. I want you to know while I was meditating on your energy, I shuffled the cards and literally that's what the cards were doing the whole time I was meditating on your energy. So what's going on, Libra? You know, it's like this inner conflict kind of feeling that is coming from you. Week one. Okay, let's get week two. Okay, where's this one? That one. Week four. And week five. All right, Libras, be sure to show some love by giving me thumbs up on the channel. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting my channel with um, the thumbs up the subscriptions and sharing of the videos so we have the wheel of fortune in week one all right spinning 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 and you just quite don't know where you're going to land but you're hoping for the best here you are definitely hoping for the best so endings completions, beginnings, that's definitely will of fortune energy. It's like as things end, you're not really sure what your next step is going to be. So that's what, that's what was happening into week two. The high priestess. So <laughs> you are keeping the faith. I'm feeling that right away. I'm like drawn to the faith, the faith, the faith. You're keeping the faith. You're not quite sure how things are going to go forward, but you're keeping the faith. You're trying to keep the faith. There is some blockage here. Uh, that's the thing is the high priestess. Yes, she's very psychic. Libra. Yes, you got the gift. It just feels as though you're blocking yourself here or things aren't being quite completely revealed by your guides. So if you're like, hell no, I'm not blocking myself, then your guides are. So apparently there is a lesson to learn here and it cannot be revealed to you quite yet. You've got to figure it out. Hmm. Two of cups. All right. So... It's time to l ask for help. By week three this month, you, it's time for you to ask for help. We see endings. We know there's new beginnings here. It does feel as though that you have someone who has got your back, so to say. And um, it could be that week three is about romance for some of you. All right, but this is a bonding relationship. This is a beginning here of good things. Um, doesn't necessarily mean it's romance, but it could be. Okay, I just want to say that because that's generalizing. You know, I don't want to pinpoint this because romantic relationships aren't the end all. There are other relationships that will come into your life that are extremely important for your soul, for your spiritual growth. So pinholing yourself to, oh, this is just about romance, isn't fair. Okay? But it does feel like this person is going to be the one to help you with these 
burdens if you ask them because it's going to be, this is up to you here. Free will. You have to ask for the help here. Do you want to feel restrained or do you want to take off? And it almost feels like with this total bam, 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 bam energy, it's like, uh, I can't move. I can't move. And you're just going to bust out and start running. You're going to go from feeling trapped to seeking your ultimate sort of freedom. You're done. You're tired of this lack of focus, of not being able to see, of carrying this, feeling like you're carrying this weight and you're going to want to split here. Perhaps somebody will be taking you with them because it does feel as though you're running towards them. All right. So by week five, the emperor, the father, my guides keep saying, don't shuffle, pull from the top. All right. So you're going to be gaining momentum here towards the end of the month. That is obvious. You know, you're going to be confused. You're not going to be sure which way you're heading this first couple weeks. Then you're going to be meeting the person who's going to be giving you this opportunity to move forward here. And what the emperor is either going to be representing you because you have finally committed to a decision. You're sticking to it. You've taken your years of experience and whatever the movement is that you're heading towards and you're embracing it or the emperor is representing this other person You know, it is very fiery energy. I mean, Emperor is represents Aries. We have two fire signs here. It's like this light is being lit under you. And all of a sudden, you know what you need to do. By the end of the month, you're going to start the month confused and uncertain and distracted. And you're going to end the month knowing exactly what you want to do, what opportunities you want to embrace, where you want to start this new project at. And you're just going to go. Um, so buckle up, Libra. Feels as though this is a bit of a roller coaster of a month. Libras. You are limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. Nice. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. So as you're feeling confused and uncertain of your future at the beginning of May, be in that present. Remember that you are limitless, that there are opportunities going to be presented to you. It's just about living in the moment and allowing those opportunities to come, which is amazing. So it may feel really stressful, but I feel like you can take this in stride. It's really about the positive thinking mantras this month to get you through this. Because when you're about to give up, that's when everything's going to kick in. Wow. Well, I don't envy your month. It does feel like it's going to be a little stressful, but I also feel as though that you can accomplish anything you put your mind to Libra. So, um, 
I wish you the best of luck. And again, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Um, if you haven't followed me yet, please be sure to click that subscribe button. And, and guys, don't forget to click that like button. And as always, I appreciate you.